right guys I'm going to show you how I'm um, using the aim track light gun on time crisis racing storm because when you go to full screen it doesn't work properly it's all over the place it goes too loud it goes crazy and doesn't work properly like for instance you got to calibrate it in windows mode before it'll work but I'll show you how to do full screen mode with it working so this is my aim track settings I've got trigger as normal fire the left button as hide so that reloads and middle mouse button this is calibration so if you hold down the right button it will calibrate the gun but you shouldn't need to so first make sure you have your pad set up as you can see mine's working make sure that's all set up correctly then I'm gonna go oh there's one more you go to emulator make sure ignore double clicks for full screen otherwise things will be going window full screen window full screen window full screen that will drive you nuts so now I'm going to go to my per game configuration see it's like most of it set as um, safe but I've got mine as mega I followed the actual um, instructions that they say online which you can get to by if you right click then check game compatibility click on the game and here it gives you best known options there's not a lot in here except for white color buffers on so I'm going to go back to per game configuration change custom configuration these are just makes it a little bit faster I've got it running at 4k internal resolution audio I've never had to play with at all on this emulator one thing that does work properly not like Red Dead Redemption which is a lot better on um, Canary right yeah this is the main thing you have to make sure you get right so mouse handler is null mouse handler basic move handler mouse single threaded enable background input this doesn't work show ps move con cursor in game it works but it doesn't work with the aim track light gun camera input psi camera handler fake camera default no bass handler null dj handler null guitar null system got exit across i've never actually tried any of these games online and just follow this setup don't start in full screen mode because you have to calibrate the light gun this you have to do this with mouse or light gun so now we'll start the game If you're playing Time Crisis 4, you will need to limit the frames per second to 50 frames. This one will do 60 frames a second, but it limits just the whole game, so you have to limit to 50 frames per second to get it to work. It's going to check me audio is not too loud. Time crisis, raising storm. storm. 
Right now we're here. I'm setting this up with my mouse, which is easier. With the right mouse. So I'm pushing me right mouse. If you want to change the game, you have to use your controller left and right. I'm just gonna push right on me mouse, right on me mouse, right on me mouse, right on me mouse. Right, so now when you're here, you have to hold down your right mouse button, push your middle mouse, then push back on your controller. And now that's calibrated. So we'll start the game. Arcade mode, one player. And you should have motion controller here. I'll show you first of all what happens with the mouse at full screen, so that's okay. So, oh, and there goes full screen. We're surrounded! Don't any of you die on me! Can you hear me? Watch your steps. We've gone down right on top of Hotel Vima. We're engaged in battle. Hold them back. Fire! Hey, someone stay on Smith! But now that I've changed the aim track, it's all over the place. So if I go to uh, L10 first, it works fine. So what you got to do is use a program like Lutheran Scaling. I'm going to go um, to, I can't remember what the hotkey is, so I'm going to go to settings, F8 is my hotkey, it doesn't always work actually, but it should do, but it doesn't, or you can hit scale, then hit the window, so I'm going to see if it makes sure it works, so I'm going to go F8, Working. And there you go, it's at full screen now. Go back to the game. Bravo, we'll catch up. Continue with the mission. Give me some space! Miller! 
Miller, cover that idiot! Occasionally you get a bit of delay in the firing, so I normally quickly reload again, and then it comes back. I'll have to try and see why that happens, but as you can see it works perfect, so there you go guys, hope you enjoyed it.